hello friends welcome back to rom card today in this video i will show you how to fix this error one while installing a new custom rom on your device so you can see the problem is when i go to install and slash a custom rom it gives this error and this is error one and sometimes it gives the error seven so the first thing you need to check is if the file is corrupted or not so to check the file is corrupted or not you can open the zip file of the rom or you can try extracting it and also don't pause the download while you are downloading the rom so these two fixes will help the zip to not to be corrupted now when your zip file is not corrupted how to fix the problem so for that we have to go to the pc screen so let me go to the pc screen so guys this is the rom that i was trying to flash this is genesis os utopia or realme rm6 75 devices so to fix the error one what you have to do you have to just extract the zip first so let me do that quick so the rom has been extracted and here is the folder so in the rom folder you will get all these images and the files now you have to go to the meta n then go to com then google then android and here you will get two files one is update binary and another one is updater script so we have to do some work in the updater script so let's open it up so for doing this you can use notepad or notepad plus plus this both applications can do the work so here in the first line you can see this is for realme rm675 devices and when it detects that the device is not rm675 it throws that error so what we can do we can just remove these two lines just watch carefully i am removing the assert the assert line then the get prop and the about section and in the end of the line we have another get prop so watch this lines carefully don't remove anything from ui print when you see ui print leave it like this we have to only clear the asserts and get prop now when removing it just keep it like this don't do anything from ui print just leave it like it is then click on file and save and for checking open the file again with notepad or notepad plus plus and you can see the file has been edited now what to do go to the directory i mean this directory where we have all the files like the img files the bin files all the files that are there in a custom rom zip so select all the files okay then click on show more options so here i don't have the winrar application here i am using the 7 zip you can also use the winrar to create this zip file then in the winrar also you can click on add to archive and when you add to archive make sure to keep the archive format to .zip now just hit enter or click ok and it will make the zip so yeah it's done we have got the new zip file in this directory let me show you so here it is genesis os utopia this is the new zip if i show you by going to this directory you can see we have this edited updater script in the zip file although i have not extracted it yet so what we have to do is just copy this zip file into our external drive because for flashing in our realme 6 we are using an external drive if you are using internal storage for flashing the custom rom in your device then you can directly transfer this zip to your internal storage there will be no issue for that and also in recovery the mtp mode works fine in most of the devices so you can directly copy the file to internal storage while being on recovery mode so i have the old zip right here i will delete this old zip file and i will just copy this new zip file in the desktop and now i will open the external storage which is in my case send this pen drive and i will copy this file into the external drive so here we already have the old zip so i will replace the file and my pen drive is 2.0 so it will take some time so let's wait for that so guys you can see here the zip file is successfully copied into my sandisk pen drive now i can flash this file in my realme 6 so let me go to my phone 
so guys now we have copied our new zip file into our pen drive so i will do a reboot to recovery because i have ejected the pen drive and reinserted it so now if i go to the usb otg and flash the genesis os you can see it's now successfully flashing without any error and you can see it's genesis os utopia that i was trying to flash previously and after editing the updated script you can see the error is gone so this is how you can fix the error one while flashing a new custom rom on your device and this method is applicable for any android devices that you are using so this is it for this video if you found this video helpful make sure to give it a like and if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to this channel i will see you in the next video bye bye